Dead Meme. Hey guys, it's Dead Meme. Uh, today we're going to cover mining. We're going to start in the very beginning or with like the lower level text. And we're going to shuffle our way right up to high quality R-type lasers, cargo bays, carriers, all that kind of jazz. So we're going to jump right in. So we're just going to start at the entry level here. We're going to talk about mining turrets. So this is a purifying mining laser. So what that means is when you mine the asteroid, it's going to deposit directly into your account here. I'm in creative mode, so that's why it looks a little bit wonky. And I'm going to show it to you later on as, um, as we progress through the video when it's more relevant. A subsystem I've chosen is the, it's a mining subsystem. This allows us to see mineable objects in the region. So this is more for if you're going to mine manually. So of course, you're probably already familiar. Most players should be by this point. You middle mouse click on an asteroid. You can left click and you can beam away. There we go. So once you have a captain, which this ship does, I am able to say autopilot, mine the sector. And the, the autopilot will go around. It's a little bit wonky. It's, it's not perfect, that's for sure. But at least you don't have to do it. At this point, I could go into the map and I could jump to another vessel. And this ship will continue to mine on its own until the asteroids are depleted. And it will give me a warning, uh, basically a little thing in the text in the chat menu saying, hey, we can't find any more asteroids. Then you can come back and move the ship and give the order again. This is not the ideal way to mine. I'll show you the, another method, a, more of an automated system in which to accomplish mining. In order to perform the next step, you're gonna require a captain. So let's open up here. As you can see, I have a captain that's tier zero. I'm also carrying a minor captain. I'm going to show you briefly a good place to look for those. These areas that have a great deal of asteroid mines in them, it feels like many of these captains spawn here. I've got one in this sector already, and there's another one available for hire. They can appear elsewhere, but this is definitely a good place to look. So on your map here, as you can see, there are several mines in the region. That's a good place to start looking. All right, with the map open, you select the miner on the side there. Since it has a captain, we can give it some additional orders that we normally couldn't. So I could say mine. I can tell this guy I would like him to mine this region. I can alter the duration. These are the potential yields. I can reduce it. There's a safe mode. So this will reduce the probability of ambush to zero in this case. And there's an immediate delivery so you don't have to click on it each time in order to uh, receive the message that you've mined up the materials. So. Other things to look at, it's every 30 minutes, a delivery will, will occur in no man's land space. This is basically the breakdown of the territory. The more no man's space there is, the more metals you're going to come back with, the better the um, subsystem we've added, the damage efficiency. So this is the effectiveness of the lasers, the turrets that you decide to put on, the greater the efficiency attribute, the more effective you're going to get in this mine. Unfortunately, this is not an R-type laser, so the cargo space does not uh, qualify. Simultaneous mining is for if you have a more advanced ship with mining fighters on it. So we'll cover that when we get there. So we're going to look at the impact of having the proper captain on the ship that's like a, a mining vessel. So as you can see, captains come with a various collection of perks. So this guy's educated, more experienced from filling commands. He's stealthy. It's harder to ambush him. Careful, so the risk of being ambushed is less. Uh, he also detects hidden ores. He increases the number of unarmed target or turrets you can place. So let's take a where it really counts. What people are going to really look at is when we order the mining mission. So within one hour, 20k to 26k iron, 1.3 titanium to 1.7 so we're going to briefly swap out this captain and see what the difference is i'm going to sign we'll take you
And as you can see, the values have decreased a fair bit. The amount of time we can spend on this duration or the duration of this mission is a lot less. So uh, it's going to be like a cost benefit sort of deal. If you feel that you want to, if that extra few thousand minerals is worth the hundred grand to hire a mining captain, go for it. Like in the end, it's your game. An important note that I would like to cover is with a purifying mining laser, cargo bay is not relevant. As well as you can see, the material that it's made from is iron. That means this laser turret will only be able to mine iron or titanium. So typically, mining tools will only mine the level at, that they're at and below, or one above, with reduced efficiency, of course. There are subsystems you can get that will alter this. You can get a subsystem that will change the uh, mining quality of your lasers, as well as there are occasionally captain perks that will do the same thing. Just a note to keep in mind before we move on to the more advanced mining. So now we're going to talk about a more serious mining setup. Uh, this is more late game. You're probably not going to do anything like this for quite a while, but you can get an R-type mining laser relatively early. So what this means is you'll need a cargo bay because when you mine the materials, we'll mine this Ognite Asteroid here, it'll deposit them into, your, into the ship's cargo bay so you don't actually get paid until you visit a resource depot. But we'll hit that up when we, a little bit later, it's not quite relevant. The other option we have too, this ship has a captain, of course, I could say mine the sector. But there is a very big difference. This ship has the ability to launch fighters that will also mine. And because I have some subsystems in which allow me to command fighters, and as you can see, they'll wander off and do their thing. So R-type miners, that's what these are. These fighters, when they deploy, they will mine the asteroid and deposit it into my inventory, but you need a certain setup for that. You're going to require transporter software. And as well, you'll need a transporter block somewhere on your ship. The transporter on the ship happens to be made of Xanian. Doesn't need to be this big, but the transporter software without this block won't do anything. To keep in mind, the bare minimum tech required is Xanian to build a transporter block. So we're going to move on to the next step. So we're going to find ourselves in the map menu here. If you click on the mining vessel and you select mine, as you can see, a pretty similar window pops up. There's a little bit more going on here. We'll cover all of it. Don't worry. So my ambush probability is pretty high, like we're in the center of the galaxy at this point. So if you can give it an escort, there you go. My ambush prob probability has reduced. It's based on the strength of that vessel. That's a topic for a different time. I can adjust the duration of the mission. So I can send this miner out for five hours. Every 30 minutes, he'll deliver a certain amount of metal minerals. The full duration of the mission will be required to get these numbers. But if we look at this area here, I've got 100% area coverage because it's been fully explored, as well as I have a really good mining subsystem. The tools in which I'm mining with have a very high efficiency rate. The cargo space efficiency matters because I'm using an R-type laser. Simultaneous mining. This means I have fighters, several wings of them. This will allow me to mine simultaneously, even though I'm not there. This will boost the ability of this ship to get these values. So that's why these values are so high. It's because I've managed to boost these attributes. This one is by exploring. This one is by having effective and efficient um, mining lasers. This is by having a good cargo bay. This is by having good mining fighters and I've reduced the ambush probability by giving the ship a powerful escort. All right, I'm gonna let these ships mine for a little bit. I'm gonna collect some minerals and we're going to head to an area in which we can refine and deposit. There's just a couple of things there that we should take a look at. Uh, the refinery tax I would like to cover and as well like uh, how to find a refinery, but we'll be back at that time. Simple tips that are worth mentioning. 
the colors of the arrows is what mineral is out there and it also will be highlighted on the HUD depending on whether or not you have really good mining uh, subsystems. Sometimes the mining captain will provide it. So here's a great example. Here's some hidden Navorian. So typically you, you wouldn't be able to see them without the help of a subsystem or an effective captain. And of course, while we're on this subject of mining of Orion, my miners are Ognite level, so they can mine Ognite below and the one step above, which is a Orion. So we filled up the cargo bay a little bit. There's a fair amount to refine. So as we can see, I got a fair bit of Ognite, Xanian, a nice amount of Avorian. Like I could have stayed out there, but just want to move on with this next part here. So without a transporter block, you're going to have to actually dock with the station in order to perform the, the process of refining. But with my transporter software, my transporter block, all I got to do is get close. And we'll hail it with the F button, refine ores, ask it to do all. It'll take a minute. So down here, we've got the refinery tax. This is not applicable because I own this factory. Factories owned by the NPC factions or even other human players will tax you. So they'll take some of the minerals that they were fined for you. So I know what you're thinking now. Why would you bother doing this when the purifying laser just dumps it directly into your account? Well, with an R-type laser, the efficiencies are much greater. You'll get way more yield from mining these asteroids. Like It looks like anywhere from three to four times the amount. So the R-type laser, especially when operated in the through the map menu, is significantly more. Um, it's more valuable. You're going to get way more bang for the amount of time you're going to have to waste or wait for your ships to do the mining. So now that this is done, uh, don't forget to collect these resources. So you don't need to be docked to do this, and that and this isn't just because it's my station. That little green icon next to it means it's done. And I can ask it to deposit into my, my pseudo account. You could also buy resources. So this is the buy state button. You can buy minerals if you would like. You could sell them if you'd like, depending on what your money needs are. But other than that, I believe that covers everything. There's not much more I can really add that is going to be a big value to you. So um, I'm glad to see you guys showing up and talk to you again.